Hey everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. Uh, a very common question that people ask me is, what is white gold? How is it different from yellow gold? How is it different from platinum? How do you make white gold? Is white gold a good choice for my ring? So this is gonna be a slightly nerdy explanation, so bear with me. If you look up white gold on the periodic table of elements, you will notice that there's no such thing. White gold does not exist. There's only one kind of gold in the world, and gold is yellow. We all know what gold looks like. So how do we make white gold? Well, as you may or may not know, 24 karat gold is pure gold. It's 100% gold. But as it turns out, 24 karat gold is too soft to make rings out of anyway. Diamonds would fall out. The gold is just too soft. So you, you don't use 24 karat gold in jewelry when you're setting stones, whether you're using yellow gold or white gold. So white gold is made by alloying, by mixing, that pure gold with another metal. And you use something very white for the other metal, like nickel or cadmium to make white gold. So if you're making, say, 18 karat white gold, you would use 75% gold and 25% nickel or cadmium or what have you. But that white gold still doesn't come out to be pure white. It's a little bit yellowish because the gold color shows through. So how do we make it that pure white that you're used to seeing in white gold rings? Well, we cover it, we electroplate it in a very thin layer of a metal called rhodium. Rhodium is a very white, very hard, very brittle metal that works great for covering gold. It's too brittle to make rings out of by itself because it would crack. But it works really, really well for covering white gold, kind of like the candy shell on an M&M. So when you're looking at a bright white, white gold ring, what you're really seeing is that rhodium on the outside. But that rhodium is only a few molecules thick. So as you're wearing that ring and you're touching steering wheels and doorknobs and desks and kind of interacting with the world, little by little that rhodium coating will wear off and the yellowish underneath will start to show through. Now that's no big deal. You can replate it, you can recover it in rhodium anytime. That's very inexpensive and quick to do. I do it for my clients at no charge. It's no big deal to do. And your ring is as good as new, right? You replate it, you polish it, and like it never happened. But you do have to do that maintenance. So when you think about white gold, remember you will have to do maintenance for color. Now the alternative for, to white gold if you're looking to make a ring that's white in color is platinum. Platinum is the, the other option for a white metal, and unlike white gold, platinum is naturally white all the way through. It's a pure white metal. So if you look at a white gold ring and a platinum ring that are both brand new, they will look identical. But over time, the platinum will never turn yellow because there's no yellow in it. However, platinum is also very soft, so it will very quickly develop a pattern of scuffs and dents and scratches um, that's very characteristic of platinum. Now that's called a patina, and many, many people decide that they love their patina, they don't ever wanna change it, they think it gives the ring character. But if you want your platinum ring shiny and new, you can polish it right up, that's also inexpensive and quick to do. I do that at no charge for my clients. And so you can do that anytime you want to and your ring is as good as new. But you have to do that maintenance. So when you're debating the choice of white gold versus platinum, the question you wanna ask yourself is, would I rather do maintenance for color or would I rather do maintenance for scratches? Either way, there's that maintenance you have to do. Price-wise, they're pretty similar. Platinum's a little more expensive than white gold, but in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to a diamond ring, you're talking about a few hundred bucks difference. It's, it's not what's gonna make the decision for you. What is gonna make the decision for you is deciding which one you prefer. So that's a quick guide to white gold versus platinum. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can, you can ask here on this video, or you can call or email or contact us in all the various ways that you'll find to reach us right down there. Again, my name is Dan Moran from Concierge Diamonds. I hope to see you soon.